Hey guys, welcome back to Avoria, the spaceship building, galaxy exploring, resource trading, pew pew gunning game of excitement and a wonder. My name is Twitchy and we have just got to the end of the Operation Exodus mission. And before I begin my great trek back, I have had a, a thought process in between that episode and this. And I want to try, I want to try, not pressing that, I want to press this button here, I want to come over to my systems, I want to try this key and I'm going to pop it in, oh, where are we going to pop it? We're going to replace it for the tractor beam upgrade. And we're going to see, yeah, I had a feeling, I had a feeling this would open these up. All right, cool. I don't, I don't know where they're going to go though. Do, do they give me any information? Ooh, they do. Let's, let's go south. Of course, there's actually no way to tell which one is south. I mean, like, maybe this one. It's at the bottom of the strategic map. Yeah, let's give it a go. Also, still, look how huge it is. Oh, I, I really thought last time, and then looking back over the footage, yeah, this is definitely a massive gate. Mammoth, one might say. All right, yeah, we've got one here. Look, 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 there's, there's another going elsewhere. Ancient gate. Where did these ancient gates go? Ooh, I think first we need to get the grandest entrance to come meet up with us, though. Yo, yo, my boy, stop. A little weird. He got completely frozen. I ended up having to jump in to, uh, to unfreeze him. I think we have a little bit of a bug here. I'm over here in this, this, uh, where the, the diplomat is. If we click on the diplomat, you can see the line comes down to there. So it's not me, uh getting it wrong as it was last time but over here one one ship of twitchy just for no reason i can't jump over to there though so i think it's just a map glitch whilst waiting for those two to meet up again the grandest entrance and the diplomat i've been taking the lady down and exploring this furthest left edge of the gate network trying to find a way that comes back up towards the center just seeing if we are in fact at the very edge here or at least the edge of charted and easily uh, accessible space Doesn't seem to want to go though. Oh, I was in the way. That was the problem. Okay, with the grandest entrance in tow, we're going to see where this gate network goes. This is an ancient and wonderful gate network. I wonder if it's going to even let the grandest entrance through once I, with my upgrade, has disappeared. Uh, that that might be a problem, but we'll find out. Oh look, there's a, there's a person here. Wait, what? Who are you? Lifter. Also, why didn't why didn't I go through? What happened there? Maybe I have to have it selected. I'm. I'm not sure. How did I? How did I just drift through that? That's, as far as I'm aware, not how it should work. Oh well. We'll we'll see how about if I uh, if I go and just cross this little little plane here. There we go. Now has the grandest entrance lost track of me? No, it's with me. All right, great. Let's carry on exploring. <laughs> oh no, a group of alien ships have warped in. That you know really don't care about you unless unless you go and start the fight first. And like I'm so far out, is it even worth? Yeah, I say I'm so far out. They are half the distance it is to that gate, but that gate is so huge, so huge that the whole sense of scale is just just thrown off, just thrown off. Uh, I'm not seeing any loot that makes this worth it. I, I think I think this may have been a little bit of a waste of time. Hmm, now I might have slightly lost orientation. I'm not sure if I'm headed for the right gate. I'm, go I'm gonna try it anyway. Was I headed towards the sun? Oh, I don't know. It's not a sun, it's a star, but I, s I still don't know. Does it, does it just go around the outside of the galaxy? I could totally see that. I could totally see that. I could also totally see that we should probably stop. There it goes up. It goes up sharply here. I mean, we, we want to come up to around here. So let's let's go for a couple more jumps. If it looks like it just pings pong, ping pongs across this bottom edge, we'll, uh, we'll make our way back to the sectors. I mean, straight up is quicker than diagonally. And it really does look like it ping pongs. Okay, all right, that's fine. We'll just have to find a way up. And of course, by we, I mean the captain that I hired. I'm not, I'm not doing this journey for, no, like very long, very long. Oh, uh, unexpected space-time rift. Can I get around it this way? I can't. Ooh. We normally take the wormhole up here, look. Wow, okay, okay. <laughs> I saw on the uh, the Reddit the other day some guy being like, nom nom, Pac-Man. I was like, yep, <laughs> you called it, love. 
Alright, now the diplomat can come up and join the lady who looks like she's going over this way because there wasn't a, a blue box outside her range. This is how I, I jump across if I if I see the, the line going off but there doesn't appear to be anywhere it's going to. It's got to be within the jump range, right? Yeah, look at that. Called it. Grandest Entrance is going to have a bit more of an intimate tour of these systems, but uh, first we're going to go check out what's going on down there. Does he actually just... So all I needed to do was equip it with one of my ships, and that's it. The gate's open for my entire fleet. Awesome. I'm taking all guesses now on how often you guys think the Grandest Entrance is going to get assaulted by pirates en route. Up here he's using a few gates, but the vast majority of it is just tiny little two-sector jumps at a time. Did I mention that I really need to like give him a hyperspace core or something like that? But anyway, uh, yeah, let, let's let's see how that works out. Where is the diplomat? Is he up here now? He's been doing very well. That just in the time it took me to set up those however many orders it actually ended up being. He's made his way all the way up here. That's cool. I'm sat in this sector over here waiting for the lady to actually get through and uh, continue her little journey. This is a nice area. I might, I might think about settling down at some point. Not so much this specific se uh, sector here, but it seems to have a, a nice connection going on. There's like two separate arms to the gate network. We've got uh, a relatively easy connection to the wormhole. Yeah, I think, I think we might make use of this area. When this one go uh, all the way to the other side maybe kind of has to be right well this one also has a wormhole reaching up and across the uh, the other side of the galaxy that's interesting not where i want to go though poor grandest entrance this is gonna take a while okay the diplomat has arrived in my sector boom take over and let's have a look at where we can go i feel like we should continue northwards here Maybe we'll find some untold treasures or maybe a gap in the barrier. Okay, let's see what the Zotan in the middle of the galaxy have to offer. I'm hoping it's not much more than what they did on the outside. I mean, we'll soon find out. I presume there's other people coming to back me up. I did see some... Yeah, 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 there we go. I was about to say, I did see some other bullets fly from somewhere. We are so far away from everyone. Who's, who's the closest? Let's have a look. You over there. Hi. I really can't stop in this in uh, the in the uh, the diplomat recently uh, i suppose this is okay also having trouble moving uh, I think what I'm trying to say here is I have a great inertial issue. Uh, this is something we will have to overcome with the judicious use of redesigns. Uh, I, I have quite a, a list of things that I really should be working on, uh, including a new mining vessel. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's a bit hard when I kill a ves vessel... It then becomes wreckage, right? It, am, am I actually in trouble by trying to fight them here? Is this is this a bad thing? I mean, do I look at that? Look at that! I've I've, I've been been troubleified again. I'm I'm not about it. I'm not about it. Maybe maybe I just need to like get them weak and let let the uh, the local constabulary deal with them. I mean, who is he fighting? Let's go and let's go and help him fight the person he thinks he's fighting. Uh, maybe, maybe that's not a great idea, actually. Uh, that, that'll lead to me trying to shoot other people. Oh, man, so does this mean that I can't even pick up the spoils of war? Is that going to be an issue if I just happen to float past? I don't know, where's a wreckage? Let's go find a wreckage. Yeah, bounced off my shields, no worries. But where, where would a wreckage be? What is this? Minion? He's, he's miles away. Is that the wreckage? No, the thing, the thing is, I can't now tell which one's what type of wreckage, you know? There, that that glowing stuff over there. Let's go see what happens. What's the name of the group? The Universal Kingdom of o uh, Agoth. Okay, right. Well, I'm sure we could lose some uh, some problems with that. Uh, some standing with them. Probably pay a little bit more attention to not getting into combat. But here we go. Let's grab a bunch of stuff. Did I get any any troubles? Am I in trouble? No, it doesn't look like it. So my rating improved, but I'm still getting complaints about the uh, the salvaging. Well, I'm not sure what I can do about that. Ooh, there's an orange. Ooh, there's an orange. Let's just sail on in there and grab that before someone else does. Engine upgrade. Cool. It was an actual system as well. A lot of the things we've been getting have been turrets, which, uh, you know, it's not bad, but not great. Right, anyway, I'm supposed to be exploring the edge of this space-time rift. Where, where, where's the way out? Here's the way out. <laughs> 
That's another dead end load. Definitely connects up with that. There's no way this little slither is real. Okay, I mean, let's let's check out some hidden mass signatures while we're at it. Also, lady. Ah, oh, that that's that's sad. That's sad. Uh, it's sad because there's no turning upwards here. But look at these uh, mass signatures here. We definitely should go and check them out. So before I jump this rift and start checking out this area, I kind of want to know where this wormhole goes. It's got to go somewhere interesting, right? I mean, is there anywhere not interesting in this galaxy? That is my question to you. I mean, maybe this sector. Maybe this sector is not all that interesting. So uh, is this a direct path to the other side of the central barrier? I mean, it looks about the same sort of distance. It looks very barren as well. Very barren. Oh, I think I found the smallest slither of real space, but does it go anywhere? Nah, it's a dead end there. All right, let's have a look and see what the grandest entrance has seen on his way up. A mysterious sector with nothing in it. Uh, somewhere with a couple of gates. Three gates, I guess. A bunch of asteroids. The Balfapwad <laughs> clan. Uh, they have a uh, habitat. Okay, that, that's cool. That's cool. Bunch of asteroids and the ship. And still a lot of empty space in between. <laughs> So it has been an evening or two where I have been exploring around the outside of this central galaxy here. The grandest entrance made his way all the way up from the bottom. Uh, he's now over here just, you know, going around exploring. Where are we going to send him? I think we're going to send him up to this one. Trying to bulk out the whole idea of what the gate network is doing over here. But we've been going around for long enough and picking up exactly zero. Let's have a look in here. Exactly zero of these legendary upgrades. So I've, got, I've just got to hang around and wait for things to happen. But over this way somewhere so somewhere around here we've got ourselves a little wreckage over there it says it's an abandoned ship as opposed to just a standard wreckage and that's the first time i think that i have seen that so i'm gonna go and have a little bit of a poke at it and see if we can do something it says a valuable object is detected and i hope it is this rather than just a large asteroid somewhere i'm gonna go move in pretty close hey what's it what hey what are you what are you oh it's a traveler's stash does this mean we don't get to pick up the ship ah oh, that's that's a shame i kind of wanted that ship okay we're gonna have a look at the traveler's stash as soon as we can do i do i not have any any way of interacting with it okay there we go within 200 meters interact open that traveler stash it's just just credits i mean great oh and an object detector also good but not not really what i was after let's have a look this record looks like it's still functional I mean, we'll search for information first, right? Captain's Log, Research Mission 6374, day 365. Ooh, that's a whole year. It's been three days since we started fighting the parasite we picked up on planet 0F863. The entire crew is uh, crew is cursing the science that made us start this horrible mission. He claimed it was absolutely important that we take this strange piece of metal on board. I mean, obviously. But it was already infected, and now the parasite is corroding every mineral we have on our ship. There's nothing we can do to stop it. All right, we need to back up out of here. The parasite has now reached every part of our ship. Two days. Two days. There's no hope of rescue. Nobody has answered our desperate transmissions. The crew is slowly going crazy. We have no more food, no more room to stay. We won't be able to hold on much longer. There is only one option left. End of log. No more entry. I mean, uh, Is... Is is it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, repair. Any any reason that this would be a problem of ours? Hello, how are you doing? Okay, I'm gonna move the diplomat away from here. This is a terrible looking ship, by the way. I'm not impressed with it. Uh, I'm gonna press it. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, can you even get out of here? Can you even leave? Um, he doesn't move. I don't think he's got any engines. There be no engines. Can I create engines away from a shipyard? That is a question. So I'm going to assume at this point that the uh, the parasite could only eat the only eat the engines, and uh, by replacing these ones, we're doing a good, right? That's that seems entirely plausible if you ask me. I'm impressed with the sha strange shape here. I'm not actually able to get my engine in there because it's a weird scaling. Oh, horrible. Like, no matter what I do, I can't get the engine right on that corner there. E even though this is too big, if we bring it back down just a little bit, uh, and, and even still, like it just it won't match that corner. What am I supposed to do? I'm going to go with one of those. It's going to just have to do. Is there a way of just scrapping it? Is there a way of just scrapping it? 
Also, you may have noticed that the colours have changed here. This means, of course, that I've got the Black Market DLC. If you guys don't have the Black Market DLC, I really do implore you to go get that. Not only does it do it open this whole host of other trading options uh, and some other storylines, but it enables docking, which I think is probably one of the best uh, setups for this game. But in honour, in honour of that, I have gone ahead and set up a brand new server, one that we... And this ship has no captain. I'm going to have to fly it myself. I'm going to have to fly it myself. Me the patrons and everybody else who is actually basically just hanging out on discord are all having a jolly old time uh, playing on the server over there and i invite you to come along i will leave some details down in the description actually i'll leave the details for my discord and inside the discord we will have details for the server okay this vessel is actually full of problems even though i've taken all the engines off of the back that i've just literally put on them we're still having a point where we've got like too too much too much power too much power being consumed so uh, you know what was just talking about the black market DLC. Let's go and fix this problem through the application of the new mechanics. All right, the diplomat. Okay, I think what I'm going to do here is to take this bottom spike off. I know, why would I take any of the spikes off? But I'm going to take this bottom spike off here. I'm going to carve into the the new blocks and somewhere, somewhere, I'm not sure if it works in the higher, uh, there it is, titanium. Uh, uh, dock, sorry, dock is the word that I was looking for. You can see that we got a great big squ uh, red square. I'm not about those red squares if we turn it that sort of right uh, angle it suddenly changes into a white one this is an indicator of where it's going to allow ships to a dock i'm going to turn my symmetry off because i only want one on the bottom here and i've just been putting these really tiny slithers of dock on the bottom of my ships if we come on out of here i should now be able to approach this vessel i'm not sure exactly how close i can approach this vessel and i would like to have this underneath so i can go over and have a look now will the diplomat have the ability to support this craft i should Sure do hope so. Um, there we go. So as soon as I select the other object, have my dock, the docking port underneath lined up. You remember where that white square is? Lined up with the craft inside that white square. I can press C and suddenly these weird little lasers come out and everything gets attached. And I'm like, yep. That's, that's me. I'm now this ship and this other ship. It's crazy. I can now just like fly around wherever I want. You can see how the ship underneath just follows me. Beautiful. We're off to a shipyard. So, this is new. While I was jumping around, I managed to lock myself into a unknown hidden mass signature, and this guy was hanging around. Let's go, let's go say hello. He's the Mad Science Association Energy Research Satellite. I, I wish to talk. Hello. Uh, energy and Lightning Overload Research Simulations running. Check logs for further information on research. Yes, I do. We'll go with the A2TG4XA5, or AS, I don't know. Uh, simulation number 59123. Massive power improvements over the last simulation. Still no reliable way to penetrate stone. Maybe shifting the face could get us a little closer. I mean, maybe. Maybe. What about the next one down? Distributed mad log. And en en entry BK J JGY, wow, letters, 85N. Simulation 32. First test run on overloading lightning guns are looking very promising. With these new modified lightning guns, we'll be able to reach unimaginable amounts of power. A few issues remain, the biggest being that we haven't found a way to penetrate non-conductors such as stone yet. I mean, so, I mean, this this feels like it's just giving me some information, right? Just giving me some information. Uh, simulation 5123, bigger number than the others. Modified lightning guns can now penetrate every material except stone this could be a problem but so far we haven't found a way to data corrupted okay i mean that there we go we, we we learned some stuff from this satellite i mean this satellite is covered covered in big old signs and energy look at it it's it's so colorful i love it i want one how do, how do i take this home for my own is this actually <laughs> It says it's a satellite. It's got loads of landing pads on it. What's that about? Okay, this is as close as I can get, and I see zero, zero ways of actually um, harvesting this for materials. I suppose I could just blow it up. I suppose we could, but um, I'm not about that. Let's get out of here. Incidentally, you might be seeing this tiny little gap in the barrier here. It's not. If you jump up there, it's a full, full line across, which is kind of annoying because look at all the different energy signatures that are up there. When we were over here, this place was full of them. That's why I jumped so far around here trying to find a way over, and literally all I found was this wormhole to the other side of the galaxy. 
Okay, one of the wonderful things that comes with the Black Market DLC is the fact that any sector with a smuggler's hideout is now going to have a shipyard. Because one of the bad things... I don't know if we're going to say bad things, but one of the... Um, not desirable things about the update, I, I suppose they've done it for balancing reasons, is that if you come over to a ship like this, let's just press T, uh, you need a shipyard to be able to th build things like generators now. Generators, hypers hyperspace cores, things like that. Any high technology item, you need, need to have that building area. Like because this is an old galaxy, maybe not here, but it definitely is in the new ones. I almost can't believe that this is what they want us to do here. Go through and put down a whole bunch of blocks to, to rebuild this ship. It just, it feels so clunky, let alone with the fact that the, the scaling is just, it's not... Uh, how, how can I show this? How can I show this? If I go and uh, select up against one of these other blocks and press control, 2.0817 by 6.245. I mean, how am I ever, how am I ever supposed to select that sizing when I'm trying to match up when I'm on a side and trying to match to the, the bit above it? It just, it feels bad. 1.4572. I mean, like, what? Like, what? I, mean, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this hammerhead triple stack design is not the most efficient way to have designed a spacecraft. But you know, in space there is no drag, so I suppose it's good enough. Apart from we have observed drag in space often in this game, so m maybe it is a problem. Anyway, I'm going to come along to... Oh, wait, first we want to do the repair dock, right? Ah, there is no repair token purchasing available over here because it's just shipyard. It's not a repair dock. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what I actually want to do is hire some crew. Look, look at all these things that we need to... To, uh, to, to fill up here. Okay, we've got a captain, mechanics, we've got ourselves... Uh, these are mechanics, what are these? Engineers. Uh, we've got ourselves... Uh, we're going to have a sergeant. We've picked up a, a, uh, a crewmate here. And I'm going to grab, I don't know, let's say six gunners. I probably want a whole lot more, but we're going to back off here. This guy's just going to be cannon fodder, I think. Just going to be cannon fodder, as long as he doesn't bounce off the station too hard, that is. Okay, sorting by DPS per slot, I'm just going to throw on a whole bunch of cannons here. Of course, it, it totally helps if you put a whole load of systems in there. If you don't, you can only put one one turret down. That's that's not what we want. Okay, 11 arm slots full, maybe slightly underestimated the number of uh, fighters we're going to need, pilots we're going to need, gunners, whichever one it is. <laughs> Okay, so I've hired who I can from here. I'm going to replace everybody else with the crewmen here. They work just fine. They, they don't really give us uh, any serious bonus. Of course, when I'm using the trained people, they actually are able to give like one and a half of what they are worth. Look, this guy's already gone up one level. Wow, crazy. And thus make it a lot easier to deal with. What is this This here? You can, uh, your brake for us is very low, Bill thrusters or inertial dampeners. I also have to agree that my braking thrust is very slow. Uh, if I push forwards and then let go, look how long it takes for us to slow down. So yeah, indeed, inertial dampeners or indeed forwards facing thrusters. Let's try and make that decision right now, shall we? Of course, inertial dampeners only available in iron. And there's a cross core, sorry, a cross core of thrusters at the front or at least in the middle just to see if that's going to help. It stopped complaining. Beautiful. I'm going to jump out of here. I'm going to... No, nope, you're not allowed to do that. I'm going to jump out of here. I had the shipyard I uh, selected. That's why it wouldn't let me do that. And I'm just going to type the word repair into here. Oh, look, we can bring him back to where we were. Okay, we're going to get the craft. Looking for a new name for this craft, guys. I'm guessing that we're going to call him cannon fodder. What have you guys got? Of course, I'd feel remiss if I didn't push the, uh, the diplomat up towards that little break in the barrier that I was showing you. That is indeed not a break. Oh, nice. So Carrie had on the move again, selling thousands of food for millions of dollars. I am all about it. Push us over 21 million. Ah, oh, first time we've reached it. You know what I want to do? You know what? Can I dock to this object? Can we dock to this asteroid and move it around? I don't think we're going to be able to. That's a bit of a shame. That's a real shame. I wanted to know whether we could move this somewhere just through the power of my docking port. It would have been nice to, I don't know, grab a big one and take it through a wormhole and then be like this sector's mine we can we can use this of just I'm, I'm dropping myself down does this work uh, i mean it it wants to say it's dogs but we can't can't even rotate it oh oh we are moving just very 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 slowly oh i am about it i'm about it okay 
I don't think I'm going to claim this one, but it's nice to know that it can happen. What, what's it saying up here? Uh, your, <laughs> all your, uh, all your rotationals are slow. Okay, your acceleration is slow, and your braking is slow. Yeah, I, I mean this rock is this, this rock is heavy, right? See, now I'm like, okay, well, can I get one of the smaller ones and launch it at a, at a bad guy? Is that is that something we can do? Okay, we are done in this sector. I don't, I don't know if you can tell by the spam over here, but our mining vessel is done. Uh, I'm going to travel over this way. We're going we're gonna to sort out these guys. Lots of asteroids around to deal with. I suppose we could have gone and checked this one out. Uh, but we're just waiting. We're just waiting for bad guys, be they Zotan or pirates, to turn up so that we can jump them and take their, their systems. Uh, a small group of alien ships have appeared. Beautiful. Where are they? Zotan Corvette. Let's go get them. Let's go. Oh, there's a habitat here. That's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Hopefully, me and the new cannon fodder craft should be able to deal with them. I'm just going to keep tapping R until we figure out exactly which one's getting closer. It's got to be this one. Let's zoom in a bit and move my, my mouse up. There we go. Feel, feel a little bit like we're riding on the ship rather than watching it just over there now. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, is this going to take long? I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of hoping that we can take this guy out in just a small blaze of glory like that. All right, cool, cool, cool. Next one is you over there. Just carry on with the firing. Okay, it looks like it's going to work out exactly as we want to. I'm hoping that we can take this guy out before before he takes that commercial venture out in front of us. Stop shooting the habitat. That's not going to help anybody if we shoot the habitat up. Hopefully, the cannon fodder craft a little bit better on the aiming than I am. I can see there's a couple hey can we go a little closer thanks very much i seem to be having trouble shooting this guy okay there we go the shooting has occurred again uh, i'm just gonna sit here like this now i don't i don't feel like he's doing enough damage to me to warrant me uh, there, there we go there's there's the damage to me to warrant me moving uh let's try it again maybe from this angle that guy over there actually looks like he should be the one that i'm attacking the other one but uh that, that's that's fine let's let's just get at it Look at the spread. Look at the weapon spread. We need we need to go through and redo all my turrets. So they're kind of equivalent to each other. So we're not just spreading it everywhere. We really need to be a little bit more precise in my destruction here. I'm uh, just going to fly through the line of fire from my other vessels. I'm sure that totally didn't mess them up at all. I, I, can't, I can't shoot when I wear a John like this. What is this? I am, I am bad. I am bad. All right, cool. Go, go, go. Bam. Any, any, any pickups? Any pickups at all? No. Okay, that's not great. Good news, they're no longer yellow. All right, cool. It means they are now neutral rather than bad. Ah, oh, the groundless entrance has met a dead end of the gate network. I guess this means we're just kind of free roaming this way. Yeah, let's just free roam this way. My plan is to hit up with these gates here and see if there's anything going on just down below. Okay, waiting around in this uh, sector over here, I've decided that there is another place we can go and do things from. We've got this trading guild artifact. We can buy an artifact from a mobile merchant. To do that, we need to go to an equipment dock, and I happen to know that there's one at the other side of this jump. But the real question, of course, because these guys have just become my friends, or not even my friends, just become neutral to me, are they actually going to be able to sell me the stuff that I want? A record set, we're not allowed to do business with you. Oh, man, no. Okay, looks like me and the diplomat are traveling elsewhere. I've, ne I've never done this before, so we're in these guys' territories. We can see where our relations are quite down low. How much do you reckon it would give do for me? Place an offer to improve your relations by 15,000 points. We've got to, got to go for one of these two. I mean, 8 million is a lot. Is a lot. But we've got a whole bunch of titanium here. Let's, let's give them... So this is 100,000. That gives me a million. Let's give them 700,000 for 7 million. Offer. That is not enough. You have to invest more to gain our sympathy. Really? Really? Well, how about the 200,000 uh, of the iron as well? Let's try that. Thank you. We accept. And it did, it did next to that. It, oh, oh, that was that was that was almost pointless and it was pointless there's no normost about it it really was oh no <laughs> okay so we have good standing with these guys down here but do we have an equipment dock all the way down that way where oh this is the grandest entrance up here no we've literally just moved in from here <laughs> 
Thankfully, the diplomat can do it in eight jumps. Beautiful. Excuse me. Please let me give you some room. The diplomat just reorientating himself here. Uh, good, good journey, my friend. Good journeys. Oh, and he immediately found a wormhole. Where, where, where's that one go? We don't know. Enter crafting sector. Enter drone. Go. Beautiful. Not going to interrupt the diplomat, but I am, however, going to find out what's through that wormhole over there. This may take a while. Diplomat over there recharging. Nice, nice. Wow, this this isn't weird to look at at all. Ooh. And the other side is... Oh, man, it's a lot further away than I thought it was going to be. But that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Of course, now I turn around and go back. First, any, uh, any sectors around here? Not seeing any mass signatures. None at all. Wow. Okay, the Universal Kingdom of Aelgoth. I think we're going to go for Aelgoth. We've got good standings with them. Trade equipment. Yes, please. Uh, we don't want trade equipment. Is it upgrades? I'm not sure exactly which one it is. Maybe utilities. Trade Guild Beacon. This is what we're after. This is what we need. A million credits. But you must be allied. Allied with a guild. There's, there's only one guild that I'm actually allied with. Thankfully, they're not too far away. Let's, let, let's be honest here. They're all the way back at the beginning of the game. This is not really what I wanted. But I have already sent the diplomat on its way down there. Because I had a feeling. I just had a feeling. So he's going to travel that, that way down. As you can see, paid some credits. Off, off he goes doing his ship. And then he's going to do a little jump. And then a wormhole. Oh, it's going to be great. But I'll see you guys when he's down there. Of course, another route that's open to me, and I don't know whether this is going to be faster than using the Diplomat or not. Let's just make sure I haven't wiped out the Diplomat's orders by right-clicking there. Okay, no, I didn't. Good. Indeed, the other option to me is to go back to my home sector, which I really should have moved by now. All you need to do is go up to a repair dock, and one of the options in there is to spend, like, three-quarters of a million to move your docking port. Or as the game calls them, reconstruction site. Uh, your mining ship cannot find any more asteroids. Okay, we might have to uh, to quickly deal with that before we start flying towards the equipment dock, which I believe is like 70 kilometers away. So we're going to have to try and find something to do with that. Okay, he's doing a little bit of a jump around. Let's see where's got more asteroids. We want to go over there. Can you go over there, please? Okay, so we have arrived. We're going to start with a mining order. Okay, mining order. Jump over to the resource. Refine. Back to mine. Oh man, 86 kilometers at 300 meters per second. This is gonna take a while and the diplomat is indeed traveling. Who will get there first? We'll find out. 10 kilometers later and the diplomat is almost in allied space. I, I just don't think we're gonna get there in time, guys. I think, I think the diplomat's got it all. I think the diplomat has it all. Okay, another 10 kilometers. I think I'm just gonna give up at this point because the diplomat is right there. All he's gotta do is one more jump, and of course, it's gonna take a little bit longer because this one's got some asteroids or something in it. I'm not sure why it is a tagged sector. I wonder if I can just kind of jump over there. Not like that, but the moment that the diplomat does the jump, I can now switch. Okay, the high quail. Wow, they've gotta be guys who love me because I've, I've spent so much time down here with... Oh, no, I've gone to the repair dock. Oh, no, I've gone to the repair dock. This... This is not an equipment dock. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, I was slowing down, but I didn't slow down fast enough. My relations are worsened, but are we still... Yeah, we're, we're still... Oh no. Oh no, we're still... Still allies, but look at this. Look what I just broke off their station. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll pay for it, I think. Maybe I can. <laughs> I mean, that's a major whoopsie, right? Okay, that's a, no problem. No problem from what I can be able to tell. Other, other than one of pride, I think we're doing okay. Let's trade that equipment, and hopefully it's still going to sell me the uh, 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 the trade equipment be be beacon. Oh, man. I'm so I'm so thrown by that. I'm so thrown by that. Okay, cool. So we've got that. The trade equipment be beacon has been got. It's telling me just to activate it. Do we just activate it? Let's just activate it here. What's the worst that could happen? I wonder how we go about actually activating it. Here, okay, uh, right click or double click to use. Double click. Uh, who can we help? Where are you? Where are you? Hello? Mobile merchant. There he is. Oh, look, just over there. Ten kilometers away. Let's let's go and be let's go and be polite rather than trying to communicate across the entire sector. Let's go and talk to him. Good evening, sir. I'm not sure how close we have to be to actually be able to trade. I'm gonna get within a couple of hundred meters of him, something like that, and go, hi, how are you doing? You're talking to the automated interaction service. I mean, I thought I was talking to a mobile merchant, but okay. Where is your home sector? Okay, yeah, we've we've already done that. That's not quite what I wanted to know. But how about trading of the equipment? <laughs> hyperspace interrupter can be used to interrupt a hyperspace jump of a fidget? What what's what 
fidget. Didn't, oh no, wait, utilities. No, this is it, this is actually it. Didn't we already have one of these? Okay, I'm gonna buy one. I'm fairly sure that's not what we wanted though. Aha, here we go. So this must be just because we managed to unlock that part of the of the storyline. That's fine, I'm cool with that. Also, look at this turret control system. Mm. But more importantly, permanent installation, unarmed turrets, 10. Wait, haven't we? No, no, unarmed, unarmed, not armed. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We got the armed ones off of Swokes. That's why I was like, wait, didn't we already have this? But no, this is the unarmed version, 2.1 mil. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh, thank you. Bargain of the achievement. That's great. And we finished that mission. And we finished that mission. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time. We're mostly, mostly, we're going to be spending our time around up by the border trying desperately to get some of the uh, legendary drops. We've got a new mission. That's pretty cool. Another thing I might do, another thing I might do, and I'd like to get your guys' uh, feedback on this. Difficulty, look at this if i go down to things like veteran um going down the list of bullet points at the bottom better loot 50 percent chance of finding rare loot maybe we'll go about turning some of these up a little bit but i'll see you then when we're gonna do that bye i mean unarmed turrets what are we gonna do with unarmed turrets